It has been a very busy offseason for the New York Red Bulls as they gear up for the 2021 Major League Soccer season, preseason camp around the corner, the start of the season around the corner, which means that the New York Red Bull Radio Network is up and running, and we are around the corner as well. He is Steve Jolly. I'm Matt Harmon. Steve, we have had so much fun breaking down all of these new signees. What we're going to focus on today is one of the latest signees. That is the 22-year-old Yuba Diara, who comes from the country in West Africa, Mali. Uh, he's on loan from Red Bull Salzburg. Diara, a guy that has tons of potential, and I think once he gets here to the United States, we'll, we'll figure out, and when I say we, meaning Gerhard yeah. Huber. Yeah, I mean, that's yet to be determined, and he's going to get a lot of time here in the preseason. Uh, you know, March is going to be an interesting month there for Red Bull. I mean, just think about all the new players that have come in, the preseason, and what that's going to dictate. But when we go through these highlights, you're going to see he's very active, very good at the first couple steps in terms of just being a presence, in terms of being aggressive. Yeah, he's going to be a force in that midfield. You know what I like, and, I, and I'm going to read the quote from Gerhard Struber. Physically, he's very dynamic, an advantage that he already understands our style of play. Looking forward to working with him, integrate him into the team, clear mindset, great effort. He sounds like a Red Bull player, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, you know, you talk about his positioning and how intelligent he is in terms of knowing his role and responsibility as that midfielder. And, uh, you know, again, another young, intelligent player. The, the sky is the future with all these young players that we're bringing in in terms of Struber and, and Kevin uh, Thelwell bringing in the players that they feel comfortable with. I mean, the change has happened. The evolution has changed, uh, is happening right now. And, uh, you know, you're going to see by these highlights, you know, this is a special talent. I think the question for him is, is how fully comfortable will he feel here now in the United States and within Major League Soccer? When I see this player play, not only is he intelligent with his positioning, but the thing that I really liked and the thing that I really saw, I know there's been mention of him maybe playing more of a number six role, but uh, he's not just a gatherer of the ball. I mean, here's a player who feels comfortable lifting up his head and playing the long ball, which is obviously a, a great attribute to have, especially for a younger player. You look at this signing of Diara and add him to the mix of the likes of Sean Davis, of Christian Caceres, of a guy like Florian Below, who played as a six last year as well. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden you have some of these pieces. So within that diamond, if you said, okay, the, the 10 is the 10, the six is the six, and then usually the other two guys would be referred to as an eight. How much of a difference would you think it would be for a guy who's a six to maybe play one of those number eights? Having the ability to play different slots and different positions is a, a enormous strength. And whether that's as Cossers, whether that's Davis, whether it's Yearwood, um, we're just creating depth now. And one of the things that obviously, you know, was a big theme of last year is, you know, below became um, like almost like an MVP kind of type of player because we could slot him in all these different directions and different positions. And I think what you're going to start seeing is that, you know, let's not limit these young players in just one specific spot. You know, these players are going to evolve. They're going to get better at different, you know, you know, situations and different positions. So, you know, I know there's talk of maybe this player being a number six, but uh, I mean, you look at those highlights and you look at the talent that he has, you know, who, who's to know? I mean, we got a big preseason coming up, so anything can change. And whether you're the six, the eight, the 10, you're always moving, you're always challenging for the ball, you're always trying to get forward and get into position. So, so in a way, whether you're a six or an eight, sometimes that's not as important as just making sure that you're on the field. Yeah, making sure you're on the field. And I think what this, at least for me, you know, these last you know six or seven new players are, are I mean, it's all about getting back to that theme of like that high stakes pressure game that uh, you and I both, you know, really enjoy watching and, and covering. So uh, it's going to be a, a fun ride here uh, in April when the season kicks up again. And I would say as as interesting and maybe as exciting as an off season bridging from 2020 to 2021 as the New York Red Bulls have, have had in the last several years. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, the good thing is, and we've talked about this time and time again on these videos, is that, you know, every single one of these players is coming in for a full preseason. So that's going to be huge for their development. He is Steve Jolly. I'm Matt Harmon. Uh, it has been our pleasure to break down some of the new roster signees for the New York Red Bulls leading into the 2021 Major League Soccer season.